chances, LaRue and Jack G! Good morning everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Um, just uh, yeah, quick cycle to the lighthouse. Um, lovely ocean surrounding me, nature reserve. So yeah, pretty cool. Bit of a Movember going here. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanted to chat about the, the box game, man. Uh, yo, I think just about, just want to quickly touch on points in England and France. Um, I really, I really thought that we were very, yeah, we were poor against England. Um, in our set phases, line outs, Malcolm Marks missing, overthrowing quite a couple of times. Um, we looked like we didn't know what we were doing at some stages. Where we had the ball, we were in our half, but there was no sort of attacking strategy. Um, I think maybe because we missed Fuff and Vili in that game, um, they tend to be the catalysts of, of uh, our attack strategy. But I think, yeah, I think it's really good how Ivan stepped up, Ivan van Sale on scrum off. I mean, he hasn't had, I think he's only had one start, or not even. I think he came off the bench this year so far. But he, I think he really had a good, like he was solid. He wasn't, um, he gave some good passes, some good decisions. And, um, yeah, I mean, Pollard just getting in form in that game. Um, Delendi was massive in that game. He made some serious tackles. I think physically we were we were dominating England by far. Um, and then, yeah, just I think we didn't. We were we had a lot of opportunity and we just didn't take it. Um, and yeah, we just didn't have that fire um, to go with it. But we only lost. I mean, the last tackle definitely. I've read a lot of stuff about it and I definitely agree that it, it was should have been a penalty and even yellow card perhaps um, just because of I mean if you look at the tackle carefully like there was no wrapping of the arms it was just solid 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 charge um, yeah and, I mean, like Rusty said to get a guy down like Esterhazen, um you know if you tackle that way like that's that's the way they, that they want to tackle but we'll see like um, I don't think we just weren't good enough. We we shouldn't have waited for that. Um, we could have won the game there, but it would have been we wouldn't have really deserved it. But I think of, of the two teams, we were probably the bit of the better one. Um, yeah, and then uh, yeah, our game against France. France is definitely not the team that they were last year. They are way more dominating. They are really. Um, I felt the, the game was quite messy, but they are definitely way more physical. They know what they want to do in that whole, um, just, hear my car spill. <laughs> it felt like the game was like all over uh, when I watched it. And um, But we definitely, we, we improved a lot. Um, and just seeing the guys um, like Faf and Vili. Faf didn't have a great game, I feel, with his tactical kicking. He was kicking for me way too much. Um, there was way too much happening with... And he tends to do that sometimes, just overcook, over, overplay. Um, and Vili also didn't have an amazing game, but we definitely had more fire. We had more attack. Um, and Pollard form was was outstanding. He really got all his kicks in, which was amazing. Um, he was pinpoint accuracy, definitely. And he passed uh, Nas Buta's record, um, so he's got more than 300 points. And which is very good, only in, I think, 34 tests or something. So, yeah, it's really, really well done. And, yeah, just, yeah, Cebu and Corsi, I just want to mention him, both matches. Just his aerial skills are just crazy. I mean, in England, there was that one where he caught the ball in the air. It was just, just hectic. Like, yo, it was so good. Um, yeah, I think he scored a try in, against France as well. I'm not sure. No, no. No, he didn't, no. Um, against England he did uh, yeah I against France our replacements came on and they made a massive difference uh, it was just so good France were low getting turnover in our 22 um, twice near the end of the game and resulting into the try that we could get in the corner 
Um, same with Yankees, when he came on, there was just an attacking, he just put us on the front foot with Pollard shifting, because Dialendi was almost nowhere in that game. Um, so Pollard shifting to inside center and he just dominated that line. And Bongi Mbunambi coming in, really just filling that gap. Um, and he was very um, sort of patient and he did well. Because he had some serious, like he had some really important throws to do, like four line out throws and they were all pinpoint accuracy just straight nice and easy got it in so yeah really stoked and he managed then to get a try in the corner which won us the game in that last four minutes in overtime um, so yeah I'm feeling good about the box I think uh, against Scotland we we just need to yeah get consistent now and actually win more than what we lose um, from now until the World Cup next year I think there's some solid depth uh, Estre, um, not Estre, and Peter Steff the toy. I think he's our, he's our, um, he's a loose forward. Uh, just seeing him moving from four from lock, he did well with lock. But just move, seeing him when the substitutes came on, Erges Neyman, what a beast, came in, dominated. But Peter Steff just shifting to the, um, to number seven. Dwayne Vermeulen shifting to number eight, um, and then we had, who was on the flank? Uh, oh yeah, France Rollo. So just having those guys, um, I felt like suddenly there was momentum and forward ball. Um, just that I think it just suits him, mate. Eh? And we've got enough locks. Um, I think Ergier could he could start. We've got Mostert, we've got Lewitt. Um, Oaks are top top class. Um, so yeah, definitely spoiled for choice there. Um, but yeah, just that's just a quick recap. Just what I'm thinking. And I'm really excited to see the Scot Scot Scottish game and also then Wales, uh, which will be a good good thing. And I, I feel like we should win both. We, if, if we want to you know, feel confident about next year, we should, we should dominate both. Fuff will also, again, not be available next, this weekend. So it will be good, good to see what scrum off um, Rassi picks and just to see how our game would change. Cause Fuff ten tended to be our main sort of guy leading, but I think Pollard should lead. And then, um, yeah, that's how it should, should be running. But let's see. I'm excited. Cool. Cheers, guys. I'll be cycling home.